Okay, what we've got here is Occupy White Walls. All right, Occupy White Walls is available on Steam. It's got a pretty decent record. It's pronounced ow, 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 ow for some reason. And it has weird acronyms. But beyond that, let's take a look at the game. It's a game where you create museums or curations of art. You uh, can even make your own art, but we can get back to that. Uh, the place that I'm at right now is my son's place. He's the G3. If you want to check out some artwork, that's his place there. And over here, you've got stairs up. All these are different pieces that he's bought and put together. The art is art that he's gone through and picked out in order to put in different rooms. Like, for example, right down this hall, it says boats. So we should see a whole bunch of boat, hall, boat artwork at the end of this hall. Let's traipse down here. Neat little O's going over there, which brings us straight to... Of course, a wall of bananas. All right, so we've got a wall of bananas in front of us because that's what I should probably expect. You've got Marilyn Monroe banana going on over here. You can click on it to get more information about it. You'll notice there's comments on the side. People can comment on the different things. You can hit the artist button and see more banana pictures from the artist for the next time you want to look at boats. All right. And uh, there you can write a little note. So we can go over here and put a note on the picture. It's a suggestive. <laughs> and then hit post. So when other people come, they can see the note that you've made there. Um, when it comes to the notes, everybody seems very uh, very pleasant, very helpful, very positive, very constructive. It's really amazing. You, you wouldn't know that you're in, a, uh, in an online virtual world. Anyway, this is one of the desks. You can set up. You can set up reception desks around where people can leave notes to you back and forth. Etc. Also, the reception desk is where you open your gallery and where you can collect up the cash. The NPCs and other players will leave when they shop. So let's head up the uh, spiral banana peel staircase and see what we've got here. And of course, that's where we've got our boats. Excellent. And um, got this kind of like Florida de lis eyeball, whatever going on in the body. Oh, yeah, Florida uh, well, squiggly lines, who knows. Anyway, over here, those things that you see showing up there, that's because he hasn't bought those cubes of space yet. So you buy the space as you go on, as you expand it out. He has expanded it out. You can, you can do some amazing things. As you see, as we go through this, there is a lot of space that you have to build and uh, create. Over here, you can notice some of the amenities, like the tree and that uh, disco ball. And here's the garden, so let's check out and see it's all covered in wood. So, okay, so so we got a wood room with fancy little lights and this spaceship thing hanging out behind me. That thing that just blew up right there is the emotes. You've got different colorful emotes that you can do in different areas. I've got jellyfish and that color burst because... I, I, you know, I really don't know why I've got that other than jellyfish are kind of cool. So let's go down over here, and here's his garden. So, okay, so he's created this whole little garden that extends out into the universe, or whatever this space is that's going on over here. So you can uh, pretty, pretty much create your own art in the case, in, in like landscapes or whatever there. So it trapes back or back over to the main room. See, so it extends down off to the right over there. You can get to go, oh, that was a flicker and a half. All right, and uh, the art, as you can see from this section, uh, ranges in size from small uh, small little posters on the wall to, oh my God, look at the size of that pigeon. Over here is, uh, again, this is all the other accessories that you can put around. He made it look like a uh, under construction thing by putting down pails and boxes and, and rolled up wallpaper and stuff. I just love that pigeon. Anyway. Uh, your characters are very, very basic. You pretty much have a character that you can do different colors of that have the same body style and throw on uh, different uh, different hats. So you notice I've got, I think it's a strainer on my head. I'm not sure. I don't know. There's a tree, more disco balls, and here's the hall of plants. So this might be, this might be pears. Who knows? Let's take a look. Okay, that brings us right back to, uh, back to the main G3 thing. Now, he's got little pictures uh, on the front desk over there. You can pretty much attach a picture onto almost anything. A wall, a staircase, a table, or whatever. He's got 3D artwork back there. When you click on the, a name, a player name on anything, it'll open up this window. And it'll show the person, the, the player's name in the corner. You can click it to enlarge it and get a, a larger profile picture. The first thing over there tells you like what their what they recent purchases or recent actions were. And the last thing is a teleport button that allow you to hit the star in order to favorite it, uh, favorite that place, or hit teleport to teleport straight to their 
uh, curation or gallery or museum. And you can have a list. The top section over here is pretty much the, uh, the dev created places like the plaza and the main shops. And then under there is where you've got your favorites and other places you recently visited. Home, of course, takes you to your home, uh, your, your particular gallery, and random is kind of a potluck thing. So that's uh, your teleport choices if you want to jump around to places pretty quick. This is his frog room, which are pictures of, well, I was surprised to see it's actually frogs. We thought maybe it might be pineapples or asparagus or something of that sort. So here's the frogs. Now let's have I want to see other artwork by this particular artist. When you look into the picture, you can click on the artist button and it'll bring up a range of their artwork. And when you click on each piece of art, it'll tell you more about that, uh, about that art. You also have the option to add it to your wish list, like I, what I just did, or click on the bu to buy it. I currently don't have enough cash to buy it, but if I went and bought that, it would be added to my collection and I'd be able to add it into my gallery. So the next thing that we have, let's close all this out. We'll t take a look at some other things. One other thing that I really do want to show you is uh, some of the uh, light bright type work that he does. This is my plex, my sp I, yeah, I can speak. Mastodon Curations, which is my area. And the LED stuff that you see there is stuff that uh, Geo had put there. You can allow other people to make edits to your particular hall or your particular gallery. So I created a room upstairs so that he could come by and whenever he stops by, just do some artwork. And what he's been doing, he's been doing these mosaic things. You can buy mosaic, you can buy mosaic it's with in-game money. You're not paying real cash for this. With in-game money, you buy the mosaics uh, or the light panels and things like that. You create different types of art. Here's a, uh, one of the larger mosaic panels over there. Over here, he's got different styles, whether it's the flat or whether it's the large bulbs, or he's got this uh, uneven squares or whatever that is over there. The far wall is kind of like light bright type things. He's got an O and an A set up almost like an alpha and omega based on the font as a person. And over here, you can see the colors that you have. You've got a full spectrum of colors that you can work with. You're not like dealing with a palette of 16 or 64. You've got a wide uh, spectrum to, to play around with. You notice the shading in the middle one there or the gradients he does in some of these other things. Now, this is just some of the things that you can do with, uh, with creating your own art. Uh, there are people with the mosaics that have done entire murals, large, beautiful pictures that extend multiple walls, go onto the floors. So if you hop in the game, which I really suggest you do, you'll see some really incredible stuff they'll be able to do. That's a staircase that I picked up just because, well, look at it. Wouldn't you buy it? Of course you would. Anyway, back to his stuff over here. You've got all the little things that are, that are put up there. Uh, he can move them around, place them however it is that they want. There is the danger of allowing somebody to put build stuff in your space that they may screw it up, so be careful about that. But one of the things I really do want to point out is uh, I worked in game development for a while. One of the things that was well known in game development was TTP, the time to phallic symbol. That's something that, that appears in a game. And so far, this has been very P-free, this game. The artwork has been tasteful. People have been really, really putting effort into making uh, an, an amazing game world. Uh, again, wonderful community, great devs. Definitely try it out. Occupy White Walls, OWW. It's available on Steam. It's free to play. It doesn't cost you any money to do what you see in any of this video here. All of this stuff was done with in-game time, in-game assets, and I think a total of maybe... 20 or so hours of, sp of time was spent playing to give you an idea of the type of assets and the amount of assets you could accumulate in such a short time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.